Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut. As always, your host Matt, home for the handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And we're going to continue our series on looking at all the most popular WordPress contact form plugins. And today we're taking a look at Contact Form 7, the most popular uh, contact form plugin in the WordPress repo. Uh, one that has been uh, there for years, the first contact form plugin I ever used. Uh, and uh, it still sort of shows its age, and uh, that's okay. It's still probably one of the easiest contact form plugins that you can use to set up a basic contact form. So let's dive right in. Again, this is part of a greater series that I'm doing, uh, one that covers all of the most popular WordPress uh, contact form plugins. If you wanna add contact form seven, it's actually quite easy. Head over to the popular section. You don't even have to search. <laughs> don't even search for it. Uh, head over to the most, uh, excuse me, head over to the, con the most popular plugin section and look for Contact Form 7 right on the page. And here it is. You can either type in Contact Form 7 uh, or come to the most popular section. It has over a million active installs with uh, over a thousand votes with four and a half stars. Uh, so it's definitely been, you know, actively developed, actively used, that kind of thing. Okay, so I've already installed it, but I'm just gonna hit activate. And when we activate it, we can click right over to the settings page. Now, uh, like I said, this is part of a greater review series of me uh, looking at contact forms and saying, uh, hey, you know, what, what's my feedback? Which one should you use? That kind of thing. But for this video, I'm just gonna show you how to set it up, but I'm gonna share some things along the way. So once we get here, you can see that there's a contact form already made for us, which I really love. It helps you just get started so much faster. And I could literally, literally, uh, copy this short code, head on over to my homepage and drop in the short code right here and hit update. Now, uh, you'll see in other videos, depending on which one you watch first, I just recorded the Jetpack um, co uh, contact form module and demonstrated that one. There's a button right here that you can click. Most of them put a button right in the editor where you can quickly drop in this short code. Um, that's not there in contact form seven and it's not an option to enable either. So anyway, I drop in that short code and let's just take a look at the page. There it is, super simple. Your name, your email, subject line, your message, okay? Very, very straightforward. Uh, you know, it's, it's, the way it's, it's the way it is with contact forms, right? Those are your basic uh, fields. Heading back into editing this uh, contact form, I'm gonna go to contact, contact forms and hit edit. And this is where Contact Form 7 shows its age. Um, not that Jetpack was any better in terms of the oohs and the ahs, uh, but what we'll see in other Contact Forms is that the, the builder of a form is much more intuitive. It's much more um, just smooth and, and app-like uh, or, or just easier to build. Whereas Contact Form 7 sort of has this opinion that uh, look, here's the editor box, and if I wanted to put in certain text labels here, I could certainly do that, but it is kind of crude. I don't want to say crude, but that's the word I'll use because that's the first one that comes to my mind is you have to, it's almost like you're writing some code here. It's not a bad thing. Um, certainly, if you are used to using this and you like to use uh, a well-adopted contact form for basic contact forms across all of your websites, this is a perfect, perfectly good fit. Um, and... So you can type that stuff in or you can make some space and that's the sort of clunky part is you have to kind of make some space and then be like, well, okay, I'm going to put in another text area and then this text area box comes up and you can say, well, okay, is it required? What's the name of it? What's the default value? Um, ID attribute and class attribute more for developers there and then insert that tag. So then we insert that tag. There it is. Um, and it's, you know, it's a little choppy, right? And uh, the idea is, well, now I have to put a label for this, so you can copy that, paste it here, and say um, additional questions or whatever. And then drop the label. Whoops, close the label. And see, this is where, it, you know, you just have to either be used to it or you either don't like it at all, right? <laughs> that kind of thing. And then we hit save, and that'll update um, the display of the field. Now, when uh, the mail settings to go, to go out, uh, again, not the fanciest of fancy, but uh, pretty simple. 
I kind of do like how you can edit the message body and, and it's all in this like one little screen. That'll make more sense when we see other uh, form builders that have better UIs, but things are sectioned off in so many different places that sometimes the simplicity of this actually works really well. So to, from, subject, additional headers, uh, and then the message body. Do you want to do some file attachments, yes or no? Um, and if you wanted to send it to a, a different person, you would enable this mail to uh, as an, an additional mail template often used as an autoresponder. So you can use it as an autoresponder or send it off somewhere else. Um, so, I, you know, a little dated, yes, but uh, it's also something that the simplicity sort of lends to the value of it. Um, one thing to note here, which is, uh, again, something that you have to uh, obviously make sure you're aware of is, uh, when you send in the, uh, by default, like in this example, what it's doing here is sending in just the message, right? So just that message um, that, the, that the user inputted in the contact form. Up here, you'll see these are the available fields that this form will, uh, will, will can send to you, right? So your message, you can drop in your name, your email, your subject, uh, your message, which it's already doing, and the text area that I added. So you see that you can't click on this and drop it in. It sort of highlights it so you can copy and then paste it in. So again, a little crude, but it works. Something to pay attention to when you're using Contact Form 7. Now, this is where, this is just like a wall of text, right? So, <laughs> uh, so very simplistic here and straightforward, but man, it's just a lot of stuff, um, which is good because you can come and edit it, but uh, to me, it's just like, wow, there's a lot of stuff here and, and let me find which one I'm looking for to edit. So again, that's just my own opinion on that. Additional settings you can customize and to see more, you can look at additional settings. I'm not going to look at that right now because I'm just trying to show you how to get this contact form up on your WordPress website. Um, integration, it has a, it integrates with uh, other services like reCAPTCHA for uh, protecting yourself against spam, which I highly recommend doing. Um, so definitely check, take a look at that if you do use that. And again, one more time, looking at the global view, if you have all of your contact forms here, you can come in, copy that short code and drop it right into your homepage. Again, we'll take a look at that one more time. Homepage, edit, there's the contact form short code. You can see contact form seven, the ID, uh, the title. And then when we look at that on the homepage, there it is, straightforward. Uh, straightforward contact form. There's that additional field that I had registered before with the label that I dropped in. Uh, so you can sort of customize that stuff. As you see fit, that's contact form seven, the most popular free uh, contact form plugin in the WordPress space. If you like videos like this, if it helps you, I love an upvote, share it with friends and family, helps us get found. PluginTut.com. Thanks everybody.